I'm going to show you how to make a visual timetable using Communicate in Print with the widget symbols, which are available at all schools in Aberdeenshire. So I've loaded the, the software, Communicate in Print software, and from the screen that's in front of me now, I am going to first of all turn my portrait page landscape. I do this by clicking on File, Document Setup, and changing it to landscape. Okay. If you want to zoom in so that your page will appear larger on screen, the zoom magnify buttons are useful at the bottom. So hopefully you can all see that. I'm going to start by producing one cell for the table with a border around it, and that cell will be useful for me to type in a word and have it symbolised. So on the left hand side, the cell has an owl and a border around it. Click on the cell and then click and drag to give me a reasonable size. I'm going to change the appearance of that cell from the frames and pictures menu at the top clicking on Frames and Pictures, Appearance, and from this window that appears, I can make a variety of changes. So the corner radius, I'm going to make sharper, so changing from 4 to 0. The line thickness, if I make that bigger, it modifies the black line. I'll make that 12. The border width, again, you can make it bigger or smaller. I'll stick with 10. And the internal space, that will modify the amount of room within the cell you have to type and show your symbol. I'm going to make that 2. In this area here, I can also change my border colours and background colours of the cells should I wish to do so. So let's change our border colour to blue. When I'm happy with these changes, click on OK. Also within Frames and Pictures, I can now make a table and I can choose how many cells across and how many cells to make that table. I can actually stipulate the table width and table height or the row and column sizes. So if you specifically want the column widths and heights to be a particular size, you can do so by clicking on the second button, Fixed Row and Column Size. I'll use the current size as my model. Cells across, I'm going to make 5. And cells down, I'm going to go with 6. Here we go. When the yellow handles are around this object, I can freely move it on my screen. And by clicking and dragging on the corners, I can make the cells wider and change their dimensions on screen to make it a better fit. So there's my basic table. Left clicking will get rid of those um, yellow handles. If at any point in time you wish to modify this arrangement by adding rows or deleting rows, then you would do so via the Adjust button on the left hand side of your screen. So I'm going to click on Adjust and then right clicking within a particular cell will highlight that cell. If I wish to further highlight all of the cells below it, holding down the control key and the shift key and left clicking will allow me to highlight all those cells. From there, I can do frames and pictures, column, and I may wish to delete that particular column. Alternatively, right clicking to highlight a particular cell. In this instance, I'm going to do frames and pictures, column, and I'm going to insert a column on the right hand side. 
Within the adjust section, you can also merge cells. So you maybe would want to have a title running across the top of this, this column, this table rather. So I'm going to right click to highlight the first cell. And then by holding down the control key and shift key on my keypad, followed by right click of the mouse, I can highlight all the other cells on this particular row. Frames and pictures, I can now merge those table cells. So I now have a space at the top where I may wish to write the child's name. I'm going to go back to my ABC create part of Communicate and Print. You'll see that when you go from adjust to create, your screen background colour changes from green to blue. As you will no doubt be aware, it's fairly easy then to populate the cells by simply typing in the word you wish to use, pressing a space, providing your spelling is of course okay, it will give you the widget symbol. Remember always to put in a space. These symbols are not well centered, so I will right click and get the handles round about my object. Um, I'm going to use the makes content grow to fit the fixed area instruction, which is on the left hand side. And that will increase, if there is a bit of wriggle room, it will increase the widget symbols to fit the area. And in addition, whilst I still have my yellow handles on, I'm going to align my work centred horizontally and centred vertically. Right click to get rid of those yellow handles. So we maybe have number work. We would maybe call that numeracy. have writing, break time, and and so we continue. You'll see for swimming you have a variety of choice down at the bottom as to which widget symbols you would use. As a rule of thumb, I would choose the first available widget symbol. Um, speech and language therapy colleagues would advise us to choose the symbol that reflects the word. So for example, if I put in log a job, the word log is an incorrect representation of what we really are trying to say. And in that instance, on the choice at the right hand side, I would not choose the picture of the tree. I'll choose instead logging a job, the one that makes more sense. In the top here, where I have made space for me to personalise this timetable, I can write a bit more. And you can, if you wish, use a picture or a photo from your shared area. To do that, down at the bottom here, this icon right at the very bottom left will change the view from modifying the text to allowing you to explore various folders with widget symbols. Or indeed, you can actually go into your shared area and within your shared area, you could pick up an actual picture of the child or perhaps some sort of graphic that the child uses when they refer to themselves. So there we have it, 
a visual timetable which can be used. We can modify the sizes of the cells. We can modify it to merge cells, insert columns and insert rows. Remember, you have the two buttons at the top here, the Create button and the Adjust button, the Adjust button where merging, inserting and deleting um, rows and columns will be feasible. If you want some more information on how to make a visual timetable, then I would suggest you visit the widget um, website www.widget.com and through that website the training and events options will give you a variety of training resources either in the form of video tutorials or help sheets that you could further explore and find out how to do many other things when working on a table. So we have making a simple table making a more complex table, making a table of a set size, etc. I hope that is useful for you and you will be able to make visual timetables for the children that you work with.